Hi, this is Dr. Scott Young, and today we're going to do some of those Nassara shorts, and we're going to talk about the IRS. We're going to talk about IRS taxes and some of those changes under Nassara. So we're going to talk first about before, so you need to kind of know a little bit about some of the points about IRS. First off, let's do a little history lesson. The IRS was created um, a little bit before <coughs> um, it was the Fed was created in 1913. It was the 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 Fed um, the IRS was created a little bit after 1913 in understanding of creating that that concept of it. So we had the 16th Amendment, and and it was it was created as a voluntary issue. And it was a really strange point. And it was only meant to be a uh, a short-term 1% kind of thing. And it was a time-locked point. It was a very strange issue. And when you realize how strange that they put that thing out. And, it, and it's only meant to be for the citizens. And it's written very strangely. For the citizens of the of this, of D.C., and so the citizens of the United States, and it talks about the individual, if you're an individual or a citizen of the United States corporation. So they wrote it in a very strange way. <clears throat> now, don't really want to get into that too much, but when we become, we, we kill off the corporation, we become the Republic of the United States of America, well, it, uh, the IRS becomes irrelevant. And so that becomes the deadness of that, that system. Um, so you're not going to have the, the, the income tax point. It will not be relevant whatsoever. And so you, you, the, the harassment nature of that thing, which is supported by the court system, which is part of Nassar. So you have to have the IRS with the support system of the court systems, which, which does nothing. And people always ask this question, what does the, um, what, what do the, uh, um, the income taxes pay for? And people, the, the, um, no one actually knows what they actually pay for. If you ask anyone on the street to even anyone in Congress, what they actually pay for, they don't know. They say bridges and roads, and I go, nope, that's not what they pay for. Bridges and roads, and you know those other and the military. Well, it, it does pay a little bit for the military, but actually, that stuff is paid for by ex excise taxes. And when you start to like really understand what is paid for, when you when you when you understand, for instance, inside of a state. That is paid for by excise taxes and sales taxes mostly. And then when you understand what the federal <coughs> situation is paid for, it's paid for by a whole bunch of other things. And then you, you start understanding that the budget is paid for by a whole bunch of other things. And then a little bit of some of that, that stuff. And then you go, wait a second, how is it really um, uh, actually put together and it's by strings and silly you know silly wax and you're going i don't understand how they put it together and when they actually do talk about budget they never really put it together no one really has had budget meetings for generations because they don't want to have budget meetings and and that's what, how the irs does this stuff and see, Congress puts together points to IRS, and I've actually had conversations with uh, with congressional people and with IRS people, and that's where we get some of this craziness. And so we do have to kill this stuff off. And so, and 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 then we have you know the fines and penalties that come with the IRS, and you just go, where are you getting this? And so the point that will happen inside of Nassara is you're going to see an end to all of this stuff. And so you are going to see that complete deadness of this. And Nassara actually brings us up. Now, in all the nations, we're also going to see this. Nassara has the same point of income tax thing. And this is how they, 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 they take from all of the people. 
this is this Robin Hood kind of thing where they, instead of they, you know, they take from the rich, they take from the poor. This is taking from the people. And, and this is the redistribution, taking from all the people, but they give it to the rich people. They love doing this. This is the sickness of the system. And so we have to stop it. Okay. And this is how they, they utilize all their money. This is how they pay for so much of their stupid. Okay. This is why we have people like AOC and she gets into Congress and she suddenly has $29 million when she was just a bartender. And she was a nothing bartender. She has $29 million. And we have Bernie and, and he's in, and, and he's been there forever and has millions and millions of dollars in three houses. And you're going, how does, how does he have that? And, and um, Jojo, you know, he's a complete idiot, been there for 47 years, and he has millions and millions of dollars. And, and drunk Nancy, who actually is a trillionaire, how do they have it? It's partly by the IRS and the systems of that. And so we have to kill that system. So the tax changes will come. Now, what we have to do is come up with a new structure point. Now, one of the structure points of the payments will come by a sales tax. Now, so let me explain a little bit about the sales tax. So there will be a sales tax and it's called a 14% sales tax. Now, the only type of sales tax that was ever listed in constitutional means is called a use tax, okay? So what, what will use tax will actually happen? It will not be on food. There will be a nonprofit or agencies that will not be, be required to pay for it. So any kind of uh, place like that. So it will not be on drugs. So there'll be a whole bunch of different agencies that will not pay for it. But here's what's cool about this. It will not be on anything that is used. So if it's a used house or used car or any kind of used items, like a garage sale kind of thing, you don't have to pay for it. Um, so for instance, and people ask this all the time, what about a <clears throat> used car? You're not going to pay used car. Now, for instance, if you have a car and you buy a car and I'm making up numbers, let's say in Tulsa, uh, the Tulsa sales tax is 8.517. Okay, that's just the sales tax rate. So if it's a ten thousand dollar car, you have eight point five one seven. So eight percent, or you know, eighty five hundred, or eight. Uh, what you know? So you got eight point five one seven on the ten thousand dollars. That's what this. That's what they have to pay with sales tax, and that actually is paid back to the state. You know, state, uh, state, city, county. That's how they, they cover out that, that sales tax. Now, if that was a new car of that $10,000, you would have 14% on top of, of the state, city, and, and, and uh, county tax. So that would be on top of that. Now, you'd say, well, that doesn't sound fair. Well, by the way, who actually pays for new things? Let me think about that for a second. Oh, I got it. People who have the money to pay for new things. Who would that be? The people who are richer. So if you have richer people, they have the ability to afford that. So for instance, let's just let's juxtapose two different people. Let's say we have two friends. One woman and she has makes $150,000 a year and the other woman, her her best friend, she makes $30,000 a year. The hundred fifty thousand dollar friend, she ha she always drives in the in the newest cars, and the other friend has thirty thousand dollars a year. She she doesn't have the, the a lot of money. She always has to buy used. She has one hundred fifty thousand dollars. She always buys a new Mercedes, right? She has the money to buy, and she's always going to spend more in sales tax. She's not going to take income tax, so she's going to put more into the system than this person. When she buys something new, she's gonna have, she's gonna still spend for some new things, right? She's gonna buy something new, like for instance, this mouse. So if she buys something new over here. Well, great. She's gonna buy a new mouse. She's gonna buy that ten dollar mouse, but it's it's only a fourteen percent sales tax on that one time mouse. But almost every 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 other thing, the hundred and fifty thousand dollar person is going to spend a lot more money on. 
That's pretty darn fair to me. And you're going to see that over and over again. And so that will go out to run the federal government. Now, that will probably see that in a type of IRS system. But guess who pays, who pays that? So it pays it through the small businesses or the large businesses. So, for instance, the person, you the person, pay it to the business. The business pays it out to the, to the, uh, to the government. So, for instance, I'm a business owner. I collect that, and then I have to pay that out to the government. So you really don't even notice it. So who would have to pay? Well, it's the business owner, and I actually do that. I pay out um, to to uh, to government every single month, and I pay it, for instance, on the 20th of the month. And so I have to pay last month's amount and this month's amount. There's a estimated kind of thing, and I have to do that every single month. And I do this little estimated amount and then this uh, last month's amount and, and charge it in. This is what, what every single business that has any type of retail situation does. That's how it works. So I did a little bit longer of a circumstance, but I'm trying to explain how the sales tax for the new kind of system might work. So hope that helps you out with that. Thanks so much.